Hey guys, welcome to FitScope. My name's Megan, and today I'm gonna take you guys through a 30 minute boot camp class. We're gonna start off with 20 minutes on your rowing machine, and then we're gonna transition to the floor. So grab some dumbbells, keep them handy, because we will need them in about 20 minutes or so. But to start you off, I want you to go ahead and strap into your rower, adjust your footboards as needed to make sure that your strap is over the widest part of your foot and go ahead and pull on those straps to make sure that you're nice and tight here. Grab onto your handles. I want you to make sure you're on the widest end of your handlebar here. You're wrapping your hands around your thumb and you're starting in your catch position with your arms straight, your legs bent, your shoulders back and down. From here, I want you to drive with your legs. So you're just straightening out with your legs. That's the first part. Lean back with your core, pull with your arms. First to unravel is your arms, core, legs. So again, it's legs, core, arms, arms, core, legs. Very distinct movement. And we'll just go ahead and start rowing for our warm up here. The only thing I really want you to focus on for the first couple of minutes is your form. Even though rowing looks like it could be an upper body exercise, it is actually 60% legs here. So 60% of your power is coming from legs, 20% is coming from your core, and 20% is coming from your arms. So if you want to drive your power up and drive your heart rate up, think driving a little stronger with your legs. So if you're looking at strokes per minute, I want your warm-up strokes per minute to be between 18 and 23. Something that feels like a jog if you were on the treadmill, you know, something that you could still breathe through but isn't too challenging as we really get the hang of our form. Pull back for a count of one, unravel one, two. Drive back one, unravel one, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Big deep breaths. Pulling your handle to your sternum, not your belly button. There we go. That's gonna make sure that we're drive, driving the most power from our upper body and targeting the right muscles. All right, guys, between 18 and 23 strokes per minute. Let's go for 90 more se seconds here. Breathe through it. Drive back for one. That's it. Now, if you want, to drive your split time up, which is how much distance can you cover in a certain amount of time? How long does it take you to cover 500 meters? The lower your split time is, that means you're driving more power, more distance. So as you drive harder with your legs, your split time will improve and it'll get shorter. 30 seconds here. That's it. So this warm-up pace, also kind of thinking about it in terms of a base pace, this is also referred to as a paddle pace. Something doable that you could hold for about half an hour or so. It is your recovery. For the first four minutes of class here, we're gonna alternate between 10 power strokes where we're really driving our legs up and then 10 recovery paddle strokes. So let's set into our first 10 paddle strokes in three, in two, in one. All right, guys, drive with your legs. Let's go. Power. Drive harder. That's it. Send your strokes per minute up. Send your split time down. That's it. Four more. We've got three. We've got two. Last one. All right, 10 recovery paddle strokes. Nice. So your speed isn't necessarily increasing very much, but what's 
creating this bigger challenge is pushing your legs, thinking about coming up from the bottom of a squat, right? Or a jump squat even. You wanna propel enough power to send your heart rate up. Last two recovery, last one recovery stroke. 10 power strokes, guys. One, that's it. Drive two. There we go, drive three. That's it. Five more. Three more. Last two. Last one. Recover. There we go. Drive back. One, two, three. If you need to stop rowing, just for a second, grab water. At any time during recovery, you can. But we've only got three more recovery strokes. That's it. Last one. Power stroke. Back. Pull all the way through. That's it. You'll cover more distance. Halfway. We've got four. We've got three. Last two. Last one. Recover. Pull back nice and gentle. Dropping your intensity. What still continues to work equally, even though your legs are going a little easier, your core should still be really lit up. Because just because your legs aren't driving with the same power doesn't mean you're not doing that core lean back. So think about this. It's almost like you're doing like almost like mini crunches the entire time you're rowing, right? Engage. You engage. Last two recovery strokes. Last one, 10 power strokes. Back, that's it. We pull back two and two, three, back two, four, unwind. That's it, five, halfway. Three more, guys. Last two, last one, recover. Nice. Breathe through it. We only have five more. Recovery strokes. All right, it comes down a little more. Last three. Last two. Last one. Let's do it, guys. Power. Two, three. Watch that split time go down, guys. How low can you get it? Three more. Last two. Last one. Recover. Nice. All right, let's take a minute to paddle and recover here. Now, our next set of intervals. We are doing 10 power strokes again. We only have five recovery strokes. So you're gonna get less recovery time, but you can do it. Enjoy this recovery now. Breathe. It's gonna be three minutes of work. You've got this. All right, y'all. Check in with your form again. You're pulling with your upper back, your core. Legs, core arms, arms, core legs. Pull back for one, release for two. All right, we go. 
in three, two, 10 power strokes. One, drive, two, split tie down, three. Let's cover some ground, guys. How powerful can you be? Four more here. Three, that's two. Last one, five recovery. That's it. Three more. Last two. I know it's short. You got this. Last one. Power strokes. Let's go. Three. There you go. Halfway. We've got four. We've got three. We've got two. Last one. Five recovery. Breathe through it. Nice. Try not to let your shoulders hunch forward. Last one. Let's go, 10 power strokes. Two. Three. Four. There we go, we got five. Six. Seven. Almost there, guys. Last two. Last one. Recover for five. This is your final set of 10. You've got this. Last two, I know. It's a hard two minutes. All right, last 10, let's go. Pull back. Two. Three. Four. Stay with me, guys. Five. Halfway. Three. Last two. Last one. Paddle it out. Take some time to breathe. Nice. So we're gonna take a nice recovery here. Between 18 and 23 strokes per minute. The next thing that we're gonna do today is a two minute all out. So if you need to stop rowing and stretch, grab water, go for it. If you wanna keep at a paddle pace with me, you are welcome to. All right, guys. We've got about less than four minutes of hard work left with a few minutes of recovery sprinkled in between. All right, 20 seconds, and then we'll get into our two minute all out. So if you stop paddling, Please get back in it. Breathe through it. 10 seconds left. Nice, guys. We've got four, three, two. Try and maintain your splits for the entire two minutes without losing it. So see what you can have. Drive that number down. Cover more ground, guys. Two minutes. Think drive hard, release. Drive hard. It's something that's tough, but sustainable. 30 seconds in. There we go. Inside 90 seconds until you can recover, y'all. Think about pulling all the way through. Drive your legs, lean back, pull. Drive, lean, pull. Take it back all the way. Do not leave all of this work up to your arms. Push.
push like you're at the base of a squat. You're halfway. Forty seconds, guys. You can see the finish line. Whew. Last thirty. Find what motivates you. What makes you want to push just a little bit more? Fifteen. There we go, 10 seconds. Few more pulls, few more drives. Three, two, paddle. Whew. Breathe, y'all. Paddle pace. Or take a break entirely. Let's let that heart rate come down. You earned it. Nice job. 30 seconds more of recovery. There we go. All right, last on the rowing workout side of things today. We have a 45 second all out. See if you can drive that split time a little bit more than you did before. Cover more ground, produce more power. I know your legs are tired, but see what you got. All right, guys, 45 seconds on the clock. Starts three, two, one. Let's go. This is your last power interval, guys. Stay focused here. Woo. After this, we'll shift gears. Halfway, right here. Last 15. Last 10. We've got five, four, three, two. Paddle it out. Nice job. Let's just cool down a little bit here. We'll do a little mini stretch before we transition. Nice job. You can rack it up in about 15. A couple more slow pulls here. Nice, guys. Three, two, one. Re-rack. Go ahead and take yourself, unstrap yourself from your rower. Really quick stretch here. First, I want you guys just give me a gentle twist. You're gonna need that after all of that work. Other direction. And really quick, go ahead and flex your ankle. Stretch your glutes, you're gonna feel all alongside your leg. And other side. You should have weights nearby. If you don't, go ahead and grab them. Keep them handy. Go ahead, pause your screen, and I'll meet you guys on the mat. All right, guys, I have a pair of medium weights. You can also grab a pair of heavy weights if your legs want a little more of a challenge. We're getting right into those step back lunges. We're just gonna stick on one side to start. So drop your knee down all the way close to the floor all the way down and back up. And your legs are going to be quick to feel this, given all of the rowing that we just put on them. But that's all right. We're going to light up and just finish off those big muscle groups that we worked for the first 20 minutes of class. 
give me a few more on this side, and we'll switch it up in three, two, and one. Other side. Step it all the way back. Drop that knee as close to the floor as you can. You can lean a little bit more forward with your upper body for more of a glute emphasis and keep more upright for a quad emphasis. Nice, guys. We're gonna switch it up to upper body in three, two, one. Let's go right into it. Shoulder raises here, up and lower and lower, hold at the top, down, hold. There we go. After this, we're going into some squat curls. So if you wanna go heavier, you can grab it in 25 seconds. There we go, guys. If this is too much, you can also go one at a time. That's it. Little mini hold at the top, shoulders stay down, even though we're lifting our arms. Three, two, you can switch it up to heavier weights if you like, squat here. So step it nice and wide, all the way down, up, and curl. So squat into hammer curl. Down and up. Think about breaking parallel. Drop your squat down as low as you can while keeping your chest lifted. That's it. Down and up. We're halfway through. And then we're gonna do a little bit of core work while standing. That's it. All the way down. 15 more seconds, guys. Now, this next ab section, you can do with one weight, you can drop one, you can keep it in your hand, whatever feels comfortable to you, but I'll show you how it goes. Last set, in three, two, one. So from here, I want you to think down and up. It's more comfortable for me to drop the weight and put my hand on my hip. Now I want you to think, pulling your belly button to your spine, Sliding your leg right down the outside of your thigh, squeezing your core, pulling it back up. This is gonna be something that completely lights up your core, which should be tired after such an intense rowing class, guys. There we go. Switch it up in 10. We're gonna do the other side in four, three, two, other side, guys. So it's down, up, all the way down and up. After this, we'll start from the top, go back into those lunges. So you can grab heavier weights because the lunges, while they are single leg, they don't have an upper body component. So you can go a little heavier if you have the weights to do so. 15 more seconds here, guys. Pull that core in. Think about your obliques, the side muscles here. Those deep abdominal muscles staying engaged as you reach all the way down. Feel that stretch, bring it up to the top. Three, two, one. Grab your other weight, guys. We're going right into our lunges. So step it back together, one side only. Remember, you can lean forward for more of a glute emphasis here. Knee drops down and up. Halfway through this side. My legs, definitely feeling it after that long row. Switch sides in three, two, and one. Let's go right into it. It's a short little blast, guys. Try and avoid taking breaks if you can. And up, and up. 20 more seconds here. And then if you want to switch to a weight that you can curl, then have it close by. We're gonna go straight into our squat and curl. 
All right, guys, less than 10. Four, three, two, one. Now step it out. Squat, hammer curl. Nice deep squat. There we go. Down and up. Now keep your shoulders back and down, chest is lifted. Even though you're squatting, you can't let go of your shoulders, right? Down, curl, nice. All right, 20 more seconds here. Going into those shoulder raises and into our side crunch. 15. <sighs> Last 10. Lower body is gonna send your heart rate up for sure because of the biggest muscle groups in your body. Three, two, one. Side raises up and down. I like to step together for these. Hold for a beat and lower. Hold for a beat and lower. So rowing works almost every part of your body, but I'm just gonna target here some things that maybe we don't emphasize quite enough. So the tops of your shoulders, your sides of your core muscles, a little bit of quad emphasis here. There we go, hold, lower, last 15. Down, that's it. Last 10. You got this, guys. We got five, four, three, two, one. Straight into core work here. Down the leg and back up. Down until you feel stretch and back up. Your abs are engaged the entire time. There you go. And up. And up. 30 more seconds here. We're finishing up this 10 minutes of strength training. Just getting everything that we may have not focused on specifically on the rower. So that by the time you walk out of this boot camp class, you've gotten everything. Switched up in three, two, one. Other side, let's go. All the way down to feel a stretch on your side and pull it all the way up. There we go. Keep everything stacked. Shoulders and hips. Less than 30 seconds here. Your core is pretty strong. You guys can handle medium weights at least here. So don't be afraid to challenge yourself here. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and set those weights down. Let's stretch it out. Your legs are going to be feeling it after your lunges. So take this balance. If you fall over, that's okay. Just get right back into it. And into the other side. Sometimes it helps to find one spot on the floor to focus on. It's like a yoga trick. You got it, guys. All right, upper body stretch, breathe, release this, roll your shoulders back and down, cross your arm over, pull it down. You can gently look over that other shoulder. It's gonna open up your back. It'll also feel nice on your shoulders after those shoulder raises. Other side, drop that shoulder down, cross it over. Oh, thank you guys so much for sticking into that 30, 30 minute boot camp. All of those 30 second intervals, those one minute, two minute intervals. It was a lot of work, a lot of power, and you're definitely going to be feeling it. So from all of us at Fisco, we hope that you have a great rest of your day. My name's Megan, and I'll see you next time.